All right, guys, welcome back to your 16th XHTML and CSS tutorial. And I know what you guys are thinking, so don't even say all you guys are like, all right, Bucky, we are on our 16th XHTML and CSS tutorial, and I don't even know what the heck CSS is yet. All you've been teaching me is XHTML, and that is about to change in this tutorial. Let me tell you that, first of all. Second of all, let me explain to you guys the differences between XHTML and CSS. XHTML, as you can see already, is pretty much the basic building blocks for a website. How to add all the main elements to your website, like images, headings, um, paragraphs, text, links. It's all the core foundation stuff. Now what CSS does is it makes it pretty. It gives you a nice pretty layout, adds colors to your font, changes the font itself, spaces everything out nice and neat. So if XHTML is the core foundation you need, CSS is like the designer. It makes everything pretty, makes everything look real nice. So let's go ahead and uh, let me show you guys how to use this special thing called CSS. Um, I just better throw this in there because I'd feel empty if I didn't. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. Why they named it that, I don't know. They could have named it something a little easier, but uh, that's what it means. So now, how do you use this special magical thing called CSS? Well, you know how we've been working in the body? Let's go ahead and pop up into the head and add some special tags. We need to add two style tags. A style open. Did I accidentally type type? All right, S-T-Y, that's weird. That accidentally typed a whole new word and it wasn't even on my mind. So style and an ending style. So for your first style, you need one attribute and that is called type. And you need to set this equal to text slash CSS. So now whatever goes in between your opening and your closing style tags is going to be the CSS itself. So whenever you are making CSS, you need this every time, no exception, and it needs to be in the head. So let's go ahead and uh, in between these style tags, how are we going to start making our website look pretty? Well, let's go ahead and make a basic website first. And we'll just write this is normal text. And let's go ahead and make a paragraph. And write this is paragraph text. And make sure you spell everything wrong. So let's go ahead and refresh it and check it out. This is our normal text. This is paragraph text. Pretty dumb and boring. So let's use CSS to spice things up a bit. Say, you know what, we're just going to leave this normal. But for the paragraph, what we want to do to this is maybe we want to turn it blue and change the font because this font is pretty dumb. What is it like Times New Roman or something? Who uses that anymore? So let's go ahead and in order to change any element on your website, in between your style tags, the first thing you have to do is type the name of that element, the keyword. And whatever a paragraph is, or let me say this, the element name is whatever is in between the brackets. So a paragraph is P, so go ahead and type P. Now press space, and after that, you need to add these little swivelly, curly brackets, whatever they're called. Now we already know we want to do something with P. So in between the curly brackets you type what you want to change. The first thing you need to do is type what property you want to change. And there's like a thousand different properties on a paragraph, um, like any of the color, the text, and you don't have to memorize them all. Usually people just go to a website and there's a big reference table of all the things you can change about it. But for now, I'll give you guys something simple. One of the properties that you can change with the paragraph is its color, the text color. So go ahead and type color and then put a colon. And now, after you have the property listed, you write the value, what you want to change it to. So I know I want to change the color and I want to change it to blue. Now once you're done with everything, go ahead and put a semicolon and you're good to go. So here's how it goes. This is called your selector. What element do you want to change? This color is called the property. What do you want to change about it? And this last thing is called the value. What do you want to change it to? So I want to take all my paragraphs and change the text color to blue. Simple enough. So let's go ahead and save this and refresh it. 
and check it out our paragraph text is now blue so that is how you can use a really simple style sheet this whole thing is called style sheet to change any element on your website so you're saying alright Bucky that's cool but what if I wanna do a little bit more to the paragraph what if not only do I wanna make the text blue but you know maybe I wanna change the font as well so in order to add more than one rule to your element all you do is this after your semicolon you can go ahead and type another property and value and I'm not expecting you guys to memorize all the properties I don't even memorize all the properties but in order to change the font you need the property name font minus family and go ahead and add your colon and as the value let's just go ahead and change this to something like AR Arial and remember once you're done with a rule go ahead and add your semicolon save it and let's see what we got nice very nice so this is regular dumb old font and this is nice blue looking Arial font so anytime in our website where it comes across something in a paragraph this is what it's going to do to it and if you're saying alright this is pretty cool but it would be a lot more easy if this was you know a little more readable so what people would usually do is they separate each rule on a line so maybe the colors on the first line and the font family can be on the second line and I usually just take this last bracket and put it right there because then I can see easier when it ends but if you want to uh, you know maybe line all your rules up it really doesn't matter um, CSS is white space insensitive so it doesn't matter how much white space is in between you can either add that much and it will still work fine but you know who the heck would want to do that so you know whatever works for you whatever makes it readable for you use it so anyways what I want to stress is in order to use, use CSS you first need style tags in your head you need to make the type text slash CSS and for the style themselves you need a selector which is basically what element which XHTML element do you want to change you need a property what do you want to change about it and a value what do you want to change it to so that's the basics of CSS and style sheets um, in the next couple tutorials we're gonna be working more with style sheets and if you don't quite grasp the concept yet just watch my next tutorials and I promise I'll clear things up for you. Once you've seen this like three times, you'll be an expert at it. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my website. See you later.